Look at that. I did kill this bull. I killed the head gasket. Oh! Bro! It ran just fine. Weird. Well, it looks like we popped the head gasket on the WRX. Because it was definitely pushing coolant into the cylinder. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't think I actually like broke the car, but yeah. Ran fine, so I guess it wasn't that big of an issue. So, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys just saw, I tore down the WRX's engine to get the heads ready to go to the machine shop for the engine build in this. Ideally, I'd like to build the short block today. That's the goal. I gotta go to the shop in a little bit, grab my Company 23 engine stand. If you guys haven't seen that, you're gonna fucking love it. But, let me show you what we got. We got so many good stuff. We got, we legit, so much stuff right now. So back here, we have a ton of stuff for the WRX. Huge shout out to our friends over at Rally Sport Direct because they supplied us with a ton of goodies and all of the companies that were all right with obviously them sending us stuff. So uh, X-Clutch, we're gonna be using an X-Clutch in the WRX. I've heard good things about these things for the power level we're shooting for. I have an OEM STI flywheel that we're gonna be using with this clutch because it's just gonna be a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, we also have a set of EJ series connecting rods from Brian Crower. I've never used Brian Crower connecting rods before, so I'm kind of curious to see how they perform. Uh, we have a set of Kelford 272 cams. My first time using Kelford cams. Normally I use Brian Crower. Um, which is funny because Brian could have my first time using Brian Crower rods. Um, so we have a set of Kelford cams also. We've got a set of titanium, oh, it's right there. Set of titanium springs and retainers. Uh, we've got intake valves, exhaust valves from GSC as well. And we've got a whole bunch of good King bearings for what, or for just building the engine and whatnot. And then, uh, oh, they also sent us some Group N STI engine mount. So huge, huge, like massive, like seriously, huge shout out to the guys over at Rally Sport Direct. Um, if you guys are looking at parts, remember use my discount code SMEDIA over there. Can save you up to, oh, it can save you 10% on like a handful of parts that they have over there, which is a good amount of money when you're ordering a lot of stuff like this. Uh, I went down to Subaru. I got the axle nuts needed for the six speed swap to finish that up. I also have back here some stainless, well, okay, I can't really get back there, boop. We have some stainless steel brake lines and clutch line for the WRX. We have uh, an IAG-10 oil return for a rotated kit. We have our precision turbo in here with all of the V-bands. The, or the IAG competition series uh, adapter for the AOS because we're not going to be running this street series. And then we also got the pitch stop mount for the AOS as well. And then there's a whole bunch of other goodies back there. There's our short block right there, our out front closed deck V3 short block that we're going to be assembling today, uh, pending I have everything. But before we jump on a lot of this engine stuff, there's some more stuff I want to show you actually. In this box, We'll get in that in a little bit. Now, the first thing I need to do today is get all of these Brembos cleaned and assembled. I also got the lower front shock mounts for a GR STI. Uh, because we did the six speed swap, the hubs are different from five by 100 to five by 114. So you do need to swap these, but before we get to swapping these over, we're gonna go ahead and just build all of this stuff. So I've got all of the caliper pistons, caliper pistons, uh, hardware, Brimbo seals, Brimbo seals. I have additional Brimbo seals in here. All of the hardware for the brake pads. No, I don't have my rotors or pads or anything yet, um, but I do want to get this done so that way we can get it back on the car. So if you don't know how to reassemble Brimbos, it's pretty easy. Uh, I need to go ahead and clean off all of these mating surfaces. I just have some brake clean we're going to be using. We'll wipe off all the sticky stuff. Uh, we're going to blow these out with compressed air, get any sand that might still be in there out from when they they sandblasted these and then uh, we can go ahead and start reassembling these and get them set up on the car for now.
All right, for the most part, I've got the suspension enough on this car where I can put it back on the ground. I'm gonna hold off on tossing the other three Brembos on right now, uh, mainly because I wanna put the wheels on here and get this thing on the ground to see uh, even if our wheels will clear the fenders because those are some meaty Johnnies. We are using the 18 by nine and a half plus 23s wrapped in 275s off the STI on here. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. So I'm gonna toss these other three on real quick, put this guy on the ground and just uh, kind of see what we're working with here. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know if it's gonna fit. Also that axle is being stupid. but I mean at minimum it's kind of aired up also at the moment dude we'll be solid we can run 275s on bags you know if we're being honest I'm kind of impressed that 275s fit uh, like I said, airing out might be a little bit of a problem, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't think it'll be so much of a problem in the rear as we're running 275s. Um, I think with, if we, if I wanted to air out, trim the bumper and whatnot, but I think I can just use the bags as adjustability for driving if I need to like go over speed bumps or anything like that. Um, I'm not gonna stress it right now. I do think the white looks really good on here though. Like really good. I dig it, man. I like it. I, I love it. I want some more of it. Sick. Okay, so well, now that I've kind of verified that the wheels are gonna fit and I'm not really stressing about that anymore, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss on the last three Brembos. The only one I've got on right now is this one, uh, mainly due to the fact that I wanted to make sure the wheels would clear because I knew the wheels wouldn't clear with the front Brembos on there, mainly because they barely clear with a spacer on there and a brake rotor, and there's no brake rotor on there right now, so it's a little bit dicey. But for actually, before I do that, I want show you guys what's in the box so we got in the wide body for the coupe for the coupe and i must i tell i must say this thing adds some nice width let me get these taped up on there real quick and i'll show you wide boy Dude, it adds so much width to the car. I fucking love it. Look at that. Dude, hell yeah. I'm excited for these. Fitment on them is really good um, from what I've mocked up and seen so far. I don't really care if there's small panel gap or small little gaps or something like that with this kit. Um, we are going to be molding this kit to the body, so it will be perfect when it's done. Like I said, that rust spot that's down there, we're cutting that out. For this wide body just to give you guys a little bit more clarity on like how wide this actually is there's the wide side of the, like right there is the wide side uh right there very narrow so this is gonna be sick i also have probably the biggest thing coming for this car tomorrow which i don't know if i'm gonna tell you guys when it shows up or not or what it is i, I don't quite know yet because I, i'm not starting on this build until that one's done the WRX is the daily driver. The WRX is my priority right now. And the WRX getting it back on the road is what takes priority. I Trust me, I really want to start on this car. Um, and I want to start on blue because I got some like dope stuff. If you looked on Instagram, you already know what I'm about to show you for blue when we go over to the shop. But wide body the world. Let me get the Brimbos thrown on the WRX. Let me clean up a couple things around the shop here or the garage here. Uh, then let's swing over to the shop because uh, A, I need to grab a line wrench. I need to grab my engine building tools and some other stuff to put the wrx's engine together monday i'll go drop those heads off i'll drop the cams and everything like that off um but i want to kind of get the chassis kind of done with so at this point it's just building the motor putting it in building the rotated kit putting it in tuning the car it's kind of where i'm at with the car i want to get the wrx running it's going to be a fun street car it's probably going to be a, a, a it's going to be a hoot it's going to be a whole hoot Boy, well, mates, those Brimbos look pretty freaking good in the brown, if we're being honest with the logos on there, dude. I dig that. Uh, like I said, gotta wait till I get my line wrench to be able to hook up the stainless steel brake lines that we have. Fun fact, Stop Tech. so these are Stop Tech brake lines, right? You can see that they're zinc plated right there. They've got that, and then they've got a little yellow tag down on the other side. Uh, Faction Fab, which is what I have on the rear, exact same brake line. 
They're just bought, Stop Tech and Faction Fab just buy their brake lines from the same people. So if you want to save a little bit of money, buy the uh, Faction Fab ones. It's kind of cool. So now that the Brimbos are on the car, I've shown you the wide body for the coupe. Now let's swing over to the shop. I want to show you the really cool wide body for the SDI. I am so about it. And then we can come back when we can start building the motor for our uh, hatch. I might do that tomorrow. I might just do engine tolerances today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm really excited to use this Company 23 engine stand though. It's gonna be dope. All right guys, made it over to the shop. Now, I got. if you saw on Instagram, you guys already know what I'm about to show you, but I haven't showed you the extent of it all because there's a lot of it and it looks dope. Now I was gonna hold off on showing you guys this for a little while, but look at that. There's a fake engine in my engine bay. That's not what I'm showing you. Uh, I will show you this though to start things off with. So we have a nice, dope carbon fiber side skirt, right? We got some uh, some more carbon fiber, more carbon fiber, more carbon fiber, more carbon fiber, 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 carbon fiber. There is literally carbon fiber everywhere. So I bought a replica full carbon fiber. Varus kit for the car. Now I know some of you guys are gonna be like, why would you buy a replica Varus kit? Cause I'm not spending $20,000 on a body kit. Let's get something straight here. So this kit is the Carbon Creations kit. Uh, I bought the rear over fenders, the side skirts, and the front over fenders for this car. I am not running the front bumper and I am not running the rear bumper uh, because A, I like the OEM rear bumper. B, my front bumper is already modified to be able to fit this fatty intercooler right here and I don't want to have to spend uh, $1,000 on another inter or another bumper to maybe fit the intercooler. So I just, I like the OEM one also. So we're just going to rock that one. But I want to get this thing kind of mocked up on the car. There's a Corgi right there. So let me get this thing taped up real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I can't really get the front ones on there because I need to cut out some of the fender right here to get it to fit, but I'll give you the general idea of it. So let me get kind of a, kind of mocked up here, baby. It's the Dome of Thunder. Do -do -do. That's the act I'm trying to do. With tape? With tape? What kind of tape? We'll just leave this piece off because you know what? I gotta cut the fender to make this piece fit anyways. So. You know what? There's enough panels on to give you somewhat of an idea of what we're doing here. Now, fitment on this kit, I'm gonna put it at like 7.5 out of 10. It's not perfect, it's not the worst, okay? Um, we can make it fit well. That's all that matters right now. So. I'm also, this is my entry to learning into uh, my intro to body kit stuff, to learn how to do body kits. So uh, we've got carbon fiber side skirt that goes all the way across up to our rear over fender, which this looks really good in my opinion. Fitment um, is honestly pretty spot on going across this going up. Once there's actual pressure applied to this and we have all the weld nuts in here, it's gonna sit like pretty freaking flush. Uh, this part will make it sit flush. Like all of this is very doable to fix like the weird little panel gaps that are in it. We can fix all of that. I'm not too stressed about it. But overall, um, for something that is a third of the cost of a Varus kit, I am extremely happy with the way this looks and the way that this is going to fit. So we're gonna be doing all of this. And it came with a, I don't know where they are right now. It came with uh, these guys, which are for the front fenders to side skirts. It's like a, like a canard that goes from the fender to the side skirt. It's kind of cool, but dude, this thing's gonna look so good. We're gonna have our big six cylinder engine up here with our big precision turbo with a big old carbon fiber wide body. Now, I don't know if I wanna paint the paint the carbon fiber. If I'm not, it really depends on the body work that we're gonna do. If the body work needs me to like mold it in or like form it to the actual car itself, then yeah, we'll paint it. But if the carbon lines up perfectly, um, I'd like to leave the body kit just exposed carbon fiber like that because I think it looks really cool. I think it'll match the wing. Uh, we've got some nice wide Johnnies on our way from, I think they're in California right now coming up for the car, which I think you guys will like the wheel choice. It's not my, it's kind of my typical wheel choice, but it's not at the same time. But I feel like we've been talking about it for so long doing a wide body on the car and we've just never done it that we're just gonna do it. And like I said, I have no problems running a replicate kit like this. Um, if you do have a problem with running a replicate like this, don't buy it. Like, simply enough, just don't buy it. This kit costs $3,500. Yeah, it's probably not true carbon fiber all the way through. It's probably fiberglass with a layer of carbon fiber over the top of it, but it looks good. And that's all I'm shooting for here because I can justify spending thousands of dollars on like a performance engine setup and like all the name brand Gucci stuff for an engine because in my mind that's performance and you're actually paying for the performance aspect. With body panels and body kits like this, if I can find one that fits well for a fraction of the price of one that costs $20,000, I'm gonna do that. 
So I'm super pumped with this. This will happen sometime in the future. I don't quite know when yet. Um, like I said, the WRX is our priority right now. I think once the WRX is done, then we'll start up on the STI stuff because I almost have everything here for us to be able to start working on this car again. And then I think after that, we'll start doing the 2.5 RS swap, but I, I don't know. Every, we could do all of them at the same time like we normally do, who knows. So I got all my engine building stuff. I just wanted to show you guys this coolness, which will be happening soon. Now let's go back to the house and build an engine for the WRX. Or maybe, I don't know, it's getting cold. We're back in the garage, it's been a couple hours. I had to go fight some dude at Home Depot because he wouldn't exchange our propane tank and he had to fight us. So, uh, you can get bad propane, keep that in mind. And if you get bad propane, don't be afraid to go fight the people at Home Depot to tell them you got bad propane. So, now that I've got a heater, it's like nine o'clock right now, I'm motivated to keep going. We're fucking going. I at least want to get like the tolerances measured out tonight. So in that box right there, I've got our closed deck V3 short block from out front. I'm gonna get it set up on our fun company 23 engine stand here. I'll show you guys more about this here in a little bit. I had to modify my stand right here to be able to fit it, but it's no big deal. Uh, I have the actual company 23 one over at the shop. I'm just still waiting on approval from them to be able to drill into the concrete uh, to put anchors in there. So for now, this will work. So let me get this guy set up real quick and start figuring this out. Okay, we're gonna do this in the next video because I don't want to feel rushed putting this engine together. It's already 9.30 and I don't want to have to rush through measurements and everything because it's getting super cold outside. Even with this, like this helps a ton, but. But nonetheless, solid progress on the hatch today. Um, and we should be pretty, like I said, the, uh, the hatch is the goal to get running right now, running and driving, I should say, uh, because that is the permanent daily driver. And the RS is kind of like my temporary one till it blows up and dies. Um, I have something that I, I don't know. Some people might be upset about it. Some people might like it. You guys will find out. It'll be in the next video. So you guys, you guys will see. I'll leave you guessing. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you're pumped for the wide body on the STI, the resurrection of V2 of that car. If you're pumped for the GC with the EJ turbo swap goodness and the wide body. We're literally wide bodying everything with the exception of this car, which we might wide body. Who knows? Um, but that's all I got for you guys on this one. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button. Turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be one of these corners, no idea which one I'll put in quite yet. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies.